All right, guys, on today's episode of Matthew trying to justify his ungodly expenses with knives, we're going to talk about why Tontos are actually, or Tontos or Tanto blades are actually extremely practical for EDC. So first off, they're not. <laughs> I don't really know of a good way to put it, but Tonto knives, as far as it goes, for the most part, when it comes to like EDC and utilitarian tasks, do, do not tend to be the most practical for those tasks. But my God, do they look awesome. And honestly, this blade or this uh, kind of like recent obsession with Tonto shaped blades came out of the fact that I was sitting there playing with my Sabenza as one does. And I realized that this is the only Tonto blade shape knife that I have in the collection. I was like, you know what? This month I should change that. So I did and made some questionable life decisions as per usual and added a few more Tonto blades to my list. Now, in fairness, I haven't added tons and I don't know if I'll add more than what I have because like I was saying, you know, I don't necessarily think that Tontos are useless in EDC, but I definitely don't think they're the most practical. And I will say there are a few tasks, especially when it comes down to, you know, using them for like unboxing where they can actually be pretty darn useful because if you do look at most like exacto blades and like scalpels that are used for utility purposes or even like crafting purposes most of them are some form of a tonto or straight kind of razor and so oftentimes this blade shape is actually more practical than some might give it credit but by and large they are not the most practical blade shapes however there are some really cool blades out there things like the tonto or sorry the tour chasm like this out chasm widow here that are actually really really darn cool. And so I definitely thought of this as an opportunity to increase my Tonto collection. So I have a good old fashioned Tor Chasm. Like I said, I picked up a 557 mini griptilian, which this is probably, uh, I don't know. I actually like all of the knives to be honest, but this is actually a really cool bench made. I will say as far as griptilians go, I do love my griptilians, but I don't actually think many people know about the 557. And I will say the Tonto versions of the griptilian do exist, but most people don't honestly know about them because they were never that popular. I don't know if they still make them. This is a newer version of of the mini grip in uh, S30V. And of course this one is wearing custom G10 scales, but uh, yeah, they're really cool. And I do think that the Tonto blade shape is awesome. And I will give props to Benchmade. They did a good job with this Tonto because it has a lot of characteristics of a drop point, but still with that very sharp angular Tonto edge. Now I will say there is some variance as you can see with all of the Tontos that I'm gonna show in this video, they are all slightly different. I will say this one probably has the most traditional kind of Japanese inspired Tonto edge on this uh, Chris Reeve Knives large Sabenza, but these others are definitely more American. Uh, of course, we got the awesome Bounty Hunter Manticore that also has a very nice, very stabby uh, Tonto to it. So, you know, all of them have their own kind of ideas or renditions of what a Tonto blade should look like, and they're all pretty darn cool. And in my opinion, that is actually part of what makes Tontos more special is, like I said, from factory to factory, you'll notice that no two people People do their Tontos the same, like just looking at these two, for instance, you know, the uh, Tour uh, Chasm here, as the blade, as as the camera struggles to focus, you know, the Tour Chasm over here is a very long, drawn out Tonto, almost more like an Exacto blade, whereas the uh, Benchmade is very short, but very stout and robust. So you can see that like the Tour uh, has a very unsupported, very um, thin Tonto for like penetrating, whereas the Benchmade is far more robust. You see this upper swedge really adding to kind of I wouldn't say necessarily using this as a pry bar, I wouldn't recommend it, but definitely a little bit more of a kind of pry, or you could put more torque on that edge and it has more structural um, stability, I guess you could say. That'd be the best way of putting it in my opinion. And then of course, like I said, like this Sabenza has a very different, very unique Tonto where it's just really more of a kind of sweeping um, bevel that is ground kind of like 
slightly flat there is still some curvature to it but uh, once again very unique and like I said I'd probably say the most traditional to the Japanese true like Tonto blades that inspired all of these so Anyways, those are this is a look at some of my Tontos. Do I think that they are ultimately the best for EDC? Like I said, there are some like craft purposes that I would say that Tontos do excel at, but by and large, they are definitely more of a defensive type of blade shape and that's entirely how the Tonto traditionally in like Japanese um kind of culture or at least in samurai culture was designed these were designed to be or tontos as they know them were designed to be like short longer than a knife but not like a short sword they were kind of in that like intermediary zone so they'd be used as a very up close personal kind of like last ditch weapon to defend yourself if for whatever reason you got yourself into such a close quarters fight and i do know that that kind of sounds weird because swordsmen are already getting close quarters but like swordsmen usually carry knives as a last ditch self-defense even in like medieval periods with knights they would traditionally have once again kind of larger longer daggers that would be used um, in more of a close quarters or to finish off a foe if you know their blade was inoperable or if their blade really was inapplicable like once again if you're chest to chest with someone you're not going to pull out a great sword or a long sword or a two-handed sword and try to use that to attack someone you're going to pull out something like a dagger to finish someone off so that's where the tonto kind of co comes into play originally and obviously americans have bastardized that into a blade shape or style that looks something along the lines of this but uh, still very cool and very much a defensive styled blade that gives you a very nice usually fairly straight edge for doing cutting tasks and then a very nice very uh sharp tip that is usually unreinforced and designed for poking so anyways that is kind of my brief summary of tonto blades and the ones that i have in my collection i really like them but i also really think that they're just awesome blades i will say definitely i do think that um, worn cliffs or reverse tontos tend to be a little bit better for sheer utility things like the spider coast smock tend to be a little bit more of like the epitome of what a true utility blade would be not to say you can't defend yourself with a smock and you can't do utility with you know like a tour chasm you know this thing is going to cut open packages just fine i've certainly opened plenty of packages with this little chasm so i definitely know it can do those things but yeah so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video as always guys god bless and i'm out